guys, how you doing? Out here at the old military trail again in northeast Kansas. I usually take the abandoned road up to the abandoned campgrounds and uh, camp in that area. Today I'm going to be hitting the trail itself. It is a 30 mile trail. Also trying out some new uh, walking sticks, never used them before. We'll see how that goes. Nothing me yapping, let's hit the trail. Ah, spider webs. Spider crawling up my camera. All over me. Well, there's a trail up to the first abandoned campsite. Yeah, we'll pass that. But that is a shortcut back to a water uh, spigot. These walking sticks are handy. They help quite a bit. But I'm finding they come in more useful knocking down spider webs. Every two feet I'm running into one. I mean, covered head to toe. They are thick. Now that trail leads down to a creek area. I might use that to go fishing later, but we're going this way. After passing the two blue stakes there, I come across this one. And I know there's no way I've gone 14 miles, so I'd like to figure out where the beginning of this is. But from one direction or the other, we're at the 14 mile mark. Pretty thick down through here. Yeah, you're not gonna get me. All right, I'm on the uh, paved road, which would be less spider webs, but believe it or not, this is much more hilly terrain on the uh, old abandoned road coming in here. Never ending hill with a never ending turn. Oh, I think I'm coming to the top of it. Okay, that goes to the old abandoned campsite too. Boy Scouts like to use that one quite a bit. All right, coming into the old abandoned camp three. I have shot my share of videos up here. Some of you may have seen some of my videos from this area. I've done quite a few over here off this uh, edge of this uh, gazebo or shelter. I'm always kind to leave wood. To the next guy, I see somebody has done me the favor as well if I come back up to this area. But I have shot my share of videos right over there and hung my hammock many a times down that hillside there. All right.
right, I'm going to stop, readjust my pack a little bit, grab something to drink, and then head back over there and hit the trail again. And back into the woods. Okay guys, a couple quick hiking or uh, camping tips. We all know the importance of staying hydrated. You want to make sure that you have plenty of water. Plan well your sources of water if you're not carrying a lot. Know that you have access to the water and how far you are from that water. And uh, that you have the right filter system for the area that you're in. Second tip, if you hate spiders and you hate spider webs, make sure you hike with somebody much taller than yourself and make sure they take the lead. That was just for the fun of it. Spider webs are pretty heavy today. I stopped up here and took quite a while wiping them off me and off the uh, pack. All right, there's the end of the old abandoned paved road. It circles around this island, if you would, of a grass area, and it goes back over to there to Camp 3. And that's where the cement ends, and you can jump, jump back onto the uh, military trail. But at this point, I'm going to kind of bushcraft, <laughs> bushcraft, uh, bushwhack through this area here down to an old campsite and check it out. See how overgrown it is. Uh, it's the area that I did my Ozark Trail uh, single person tent review in. Kind of like that area. I'm going to go back down and check it out. This is much, much more overgrown than last time I was in here. In fact, it's going to be fun finding the camp itself. This was basically clear the last time I came in here. Maybe I should have marked it a bit better. Anyway, I guess I'm going to head down the trail here. Well, not it's not a trail, down the uh, hill. And see if I can get to the trail. I can see part of the lake over there. Well, I end up coming down the hillside. Yeah, it was pretty thick. Well, there's mile 13. Yeah, well, if nothing else, I know I've gone a mile from the last spot. And I know that it's getting smaller this direction. This part of the trail does not look like it gets hiked as well as the main area up around the campsites. It's pretty well overgrown. The first set of trails is really well beaten down and the trails are fairly wide. Here the trails are really uh, dense, as I said before, and a little overgrown. A little hard to uh, find the path at times. For the kids. Oh, Jordan. That's for you, buddy. A shell. I know you would have spotted that coming down that hillside. See a lot of trees across the trail. Green trees. Our last storm must have knocked quite a few of them down. I didn't think it was that bad. It's hard to see at this point. There's a little inlet from the lake. It's a pretty good hillside over there. That's where we were at earlier when I was looking for that campsite I used last winter. Yeah, it's right over there. But we went all the way around. There's quite a little walk to get to here. 
be right across from where we were. Love to camp in this spot here. Beautiful spot. Nice overview. The only problem is I'm right on the trail. Right on the trail. Oh well. Let's go look for a spot. I am covered in stick tights. A little walkway. I don't trip over the rocks. Lots of neat little ravines. Now yeah, that 14 to 13 came pretty quickly. Oh, spider, really? Anyway, 14 to 13 came really quick been some time since I've seen a mileage marker and you too get off me spider sorry they are thick very thick I think I've spent more time chasing spiders off of me than anything they have been thick what a welcome sight did not expect that out here Check out this overview. Looks like we might be coming up onto another arm of the lake. Not quite sure yet. I am surprised that I haven't seen any more trail markers. I've seen the blue blaze on the uh, trees, but uh, no mileage markers since the uh, 13 mark. Definitely, we'll come back in the winter time and check this out. It's much more enjoyable. Well, I was hoping to push further along on the trail and uh, see if I could find another mile marker and see what else is further down the trail. But I learned something about these Ozark Trail walking sticks. Make sure you have it securely fastened. I was using that one just to carry my camera on and wasn't using it as a walking stick. Part of the time it was over my shoulder. Well, at one point, that end came out, the whole bar. So now, 
have to head back and see if I can find it. There you are. Oh yeah. I was afraid I lost that in the area I bushwhacked in. So glad I found it. Let's get it hooked back on. We're heading back in the other direction now, so I think I'm going to head back to one of the campsites. We'll figure that out which one when we get back that way. Want to make sure you got plenty of water. You want to make sure you're planned. Okay, guys, a couple quick. Uh, okay, guys, a couple quick camping trips or hiking trips. For, uh, Frickin' spider webs everywhere. Yeah.